So hello everyone. So a very good morning to all of you. So we were discussing about uh, circles. We have done uh, two exercises uh, and today we will uh, take the exercise number three uh, of circles and we will solve the problems given in the exercise. So uh, let's start with exercise three. Okay. So here comes the first question. It is saying uh, the length of intercept this circle makes on x axis is okay. So uh, one circle is given here this x square plus y square plus 10x minus 6y plus 9 is equals to 0. And it, did, it is asking. Uh, the length of intercept made by this circle on x-axis. So we know what is the length of uh, intercept made by any circle on x-axis. It is given by 2 under root of z square minus c. Right? If our circle is, suppose uh, our, the equation of circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equals to 0. So uh, length of x intercept is given by 2 under root g square minus c. And similarly, length of y intercept is given by 2 under root of f square minus c. So here it is asking for x intercept. So what is g here? g here is 5 and what is f here? f here is uh, uh, minus 3. But for identifying this x-intercept, we need the value of uh, g only. So, and what is c here? c is 9. So, our x-intercept uh, made by this circle will be 2 under root g square. g square is 25 minus of c. c is 9 here. So this is 2 under root 25 minus 9 is 16. That is 2 into 4 or we can say 80 weights. So this circle makes uh, 8 units of intercept on x-axis, right? So our answer is option D. Now let's move to our next question, question number 2. The circle x square plus y square plus 4x minus 7y plus 12 equal to 0 cuts an y-intercept on y-axis is of length. So, uh, as you all are aware, the y-intercept made by a uh, circle is given by 2 under root f square minus c. So, uh, let me write the equation of the circle. Here x square plus y square plus 4x minus 7y plus 12 is equals to 0. So what is f here? 2f is equals to minus 7. So f is equals to minus 7 by 2. And, and what is c here? c is 12. So put the value of f and c here. We get 2 under root f square. What will be f square? f square will be 49 upon 4 minus c is 12. So 2 is 4, 49 minus 48. Okay. So it will become 2 into 1 upon 2. That is 1. So uh, y intercept made by this circle on y axis is the length of the y intercept is 1. So this is our answer. So option A is correct. Okay, now let's take this uh, third question. It is saying the locus of the center of a circle which passes through origin and cuts off a length 2b from line y equal to x. Okay, so uh, let me draw a sketch for this. So one circle is there, which passes through origin. Okay, so let's make the x and y axis.
So this is our uh, coordinate axis and this circle passes through origin and it is cutting a length at 2p from line x is equal to c. Okay. So one more line is there. This is suppose we are taking this as x equal to c. It is making an intercept, cutting an intercept of 2b from this line. Okay. So uh, let me uh, name them. So this point is our origin through which our circle is passing. And uh, this is the uh, center of the circle. Okay. We have to uh, find the locus of the center of the circle. Okay. This line is x equal to c. x equal to c. And uh, this length basically, uh, this let me name them. This suppose I'm taking this point as a, this point as b. So as per uh, given question, uh, as per given information, this length of ab is equals to 2b, right? So uh, let me assume, let me assume the equation of circle or uh, uh, suppose uh, uh, we have to find the locus of the center of this circle, no? So uh, I'm taking it as c and its coordinate as h comma k, okay? Now, uh, I am writing the equation. I am writing the equation for this circle. So, it will be x square plus y square plus 2g. I am writing the general equation only. So, it will be x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy is equal to 0. C will not come here. Why? Because uh, since this circle is passing through origin, no? So, C will be equal to 0 for this circle. C will be equal to 0 since it, it is passing through passing through origin if if the if any circle passes through origin so we can put x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 so after putting this we get this value c equals to 0 hence i have not taken uh, into consideration the this c so uh, this is what the equation of circle will be. Like I have assumed the equation of circle to be this. Now we have to find the locus of this center. Okay. Uh, so we can do one thing. Let me join these two. Uh, like, let me join this point A to uh, our center and uh, this origin to center and uh, let me drop one perpendicular also from here to so what i have done uh, i have joined this point a to c and uh, this c to o and uh, i have dropped one perpendicular to this uh, ab so uh, perpendicular drawn from c to ab will uh, bisect ab so total length of AB is B. So this, uh, let me name it as D. So our AD will be equal to B, right? This AD will be equal to B and BD will also be equal to B. And uh, so in triangle ADC, if we take triangle ADC, we can say this AD square plus CD square is equal to AC square. Right. So, what is AD? AD is nothing but uh, B square. AD square is B square. What is CD? Uh, CD we have to find basically. So, CD square and what is AC square? AC square is nothing but uh, radius of the circle. Right. So, I am writing it as R square. Now, how can we find the value of this CD? If I say if I say uh, this point, uh, perpendicular distance for, uh, of a point on a line, how will uh, we find it out? Like this is the line x equal to c, right? We can write it as x minus c is equals to 0, okay? So one line is there, one line is there, x minus c equals to 0, uh, x minus c equals to 0 and one point suppose this uh, center h comma k is there so i need to find this distance right so uh, we can find it how this will be equal to 1 into h right or uh, 
you can uh, simply find it as uh, this uh, cd will be equal to uh, uh, h minus c actually if you can uh, find it out from here right if you see the uh, this uh, line is uh, x equal to c and this center is h so uh, cd can be easily find it out as h minus c also okay and from here also you can find it out so it will be 1 into h uh, minus 1 into k, right, minus c upon under root of, under root of, okay, if y coordinate is uh, 0 here, no, y coordinate is 0, so uh, this will be actually 0, 0 into k minus c upon under root of a square plus b square, so b square is uh, 0 here, so from here also you can see, the value will be h minus c and we know uh, uh, by simple geometry also we can say this cd is equal to uh, h minus c so this will become b square plus what is cd cd is h minus c so this will be h minus c square is equal to r what is r for this center this uh, ac is nothing but equal to oc Right, because both these uh, represent the radius of the circle. So R will be equal to, or we can say R square will be equal to H minus 0 square plus K minus 0 square under root. Under root, no, R is uh, having a root sign. I am taking R square, so we can write it as uh, H square plus K square. Okay, now open it. It will become B square plus h square plus c square minus 2ch is equal to h square plus k square. So this h square, h square will be cancelled out. Let's take all the terms to one side. This will be k square uh, plus 2ch a square plus 2ch is equals to uh, b square plus c square. Now replace h and k by x and y. Okay, so it will be y square plus 2cx is equal to b square plus c square. So y square plus 2cx is equal to b square plus c square. The correct option is option number A. So this will be the locus of the center of the circle. Okay. Now move to uh, next question, question number four. If a straight line through C, whose coordinates are given as minus root 8, comma root 8, making an angle of 135 degree with the x axis, cuts the circle x equal to 5 cos theta, y equal to 5 sin theta. Okay, let me uh, first consider this circle x is equals to 5 cos theta given and y is equals to 5 sin theta, right? So, uh, we can say cos theta is equals to x upon 5 and uh, sin theta is equals to y upon 5. Now, we square it and add it, we will have sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1. What is sin square theta? This is y square upon 5. What is cos square theta? This is x square upon 5 is equals to 1. So this x square plus y square is equal to 5. This is the uh, given uh, circle. x square plus y square equal, equal to 5. It means the, this circle is having uh, origin as center and uh, radius is equal to uh, 5. Okay. So am I doing some, uh, this will be 5 squared now. So, radius will be 5. Okay. Now, let me draw this uh, circle. Let me draw this circle first. So, see. Uh, this is the origin and this is the radius uh, 5. So, 
where is this point is lying this point is lying this point is lying uh, minus 8 and root 8 these are the coordinates of this point so uh, this point basically lie on the line y equal to minus 6 right this will lie somewhere here this will be our c point minus uh, root 8 comma root 8 right so what it is asking this uh, line meets at a and b so how many of you agree that uh, this ab will be nothing but the diameter of the circle this ab will be nothing but the diameter of the circle right and we know the radius of circle as pi so uh, what will be the length of uh, ab means what will be the length of diameter it will be 2 times pi that is nothing but equal to 10 right so the option d is correct for this question So let's take the next question, question number five. If a circle of constant radius 3k passes through the origin and meets the axis at A and B, the locus of the centroid of triangle OAB. Okay, so it is given that a circle is there. Uh, which is passing through origin and meets the coordinate axis at A and B. So we have to find the locus of the centroid of triangle O A B. Okay, let's see. So uh, this is our circle which is uh, passing through origin, right? So this circle is passing through origin and uh, it meets the axis at A and B. So this point will be A, this point will be B. Now the locus of the centroid of triangle OAB, OAB. Okay. So uh, let me draw this triangle first. Okay. Now see, uh, this is our origin. This point is A, this point is B. Uh, and we have to find the locus of centroid of this triangle. So uh, let me suppose the centroid of this triangle as G whose coordinates are H comma K. We have to find the locus of this uh, point G. So uh, and uh, one more information is given here. The radius of this circle is equal to 3K. Okay. Radius of this circle is equal to 3K. Now, uh, for any triangle, for any triangle uh, having vertices as x1, y1, x2, y2, and y3, y3, we uh, generally uh, represent the centroid as x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3, comma y1 plus y2 plus y3 upon 3, like. Uh, this is the uh, coordinates of the centroid, right? When the vertices are having coordinates as x1, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y3. Now here, uh, we know the coordinates of this origin. This will be a 0, 0. Uh, do we know the coordinates of this A and B? If we can uh, find that, uh, our task will be easy, right? So uh, for finding the coordinates of A, since uh, it is the x intercept right so we normally put uh, we can put uh, y equal to 0 so uh, suppose i am taking the uh, this equation as the equation of circle as x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy is equals to 0 c will be 0 here since it is passing through origin so uh, for finding a i am putting y equal to 0 right if i put y equal to 0 it will become x square plus 2gx is equals to 0 so x into x plus 2g equal to 0 so this is quadratic in x and having roots like uh, roots as x equal to 0 and x equal to 0 or x equal to minus 2g right 
So uh, what is this x equal to minus 2g? This is nothing but the coordinate of our g, uh, sorry, a. So we find this, uh, the coordinate of a as minus 2 comma, minus 2g comma 0. And similarly, for uh, finding the coordinates of b, we can uh, put uh, x equal to 0 and we can find the coordinate of b. That will be nothing but 0 comma minus 2a. Now we are having uh, the circle, uh, the uh, triangle OAB, whose all the three uh, vertices, the coordinates of uh, all the three vertices are known to us, right? So uh, putting this here, we can uh, find the value of uh, coordinates of G as uh, X1, 0, plus 0, minus 2G upon 3. And this will be, Y coordinate will be minus 2A upon 3, okay? So this is nothing but what we have assumed. This is equal to H and this is equal to K. Okay. So uh, from here, we can say H is equals to minus 2G comma upon 3. Uh, and uh, this K is equals to minus 2F upon 3. So from here, we get 3H upon 2 with minus sign is equals to g and we get the value of uh, 3k upon 2 with minus sign we get the value of f okay now one uh, let me ask you what will be uh, this uh, radius uh, radius of this circle is given as 3k no right so we can say, let me uh, put this as center, like this, uh, center of this circle. Okay. So radius will be nothing but this will be a uh, radius. So we can say our uh, this R square is equal to G square plus F square for this uh, Suppose this, this, this is the equation of our circle. What, how we used to get the radius? Radius is nothing but g is square plus f is square minus c. c is 0 here. So this r, equal, r is square is equal to g is square plus f is square. So same thing I am writing here. Uh, and r is known to us. r is equal to 3k. So it will be 9k is square. And what will be g square? g square will be 9h square upon 4 plus what it will be f square? f square will be 9k square upon 4. So uh, this 9, 9, 9 will be cancelled out and we will get h square plus k square is equal to 4k square. Now replace this h and k by x and y. We will get the equation of the sen, uh, uh, locus of the uh, centroid of tr uh, triangle is x square plus y square is equal to 4k square, right? So uh, this will be answer to our question. So option D is correct. x square plus y square is equal to 4k square. Now let's check the next question, question number six. It is saying the center of the circle touching y axis at 0, 3 and making an intercept of two units on positive x axis is. So we have to find the center of the circle. So uh, one circle is there. That's uh, what is the characteristics of this uh, circle. It is touching y axis at 0, 3. Okay. So it is touching y-axis. At 0, 3. And making an intercept of two units. It is making the intercept of two units on x-axis. Right? So we have to find the center of the circle. Suppose this is the center of the circle. Right? And uh, I'm taking this point as A, this B, and this as C, right? 
and the c is equal uh, the coordinates of c is given as 0 comma 3 coordinates of c is given as 0 comma 3 and uh, the length of ab is given as 2 so this length is 2 so we know the inter uh, x intercept made by circle is can we can give it by 2 under root g square minus c okay and then that is given to be equal to 2 so this 2 2 will be cancelled out so our uh, g square minus c will be equal to 1 okay so uh, let me take it as first equation now uh, the point this 3 will be equal to minus f this 3 the uh, point at which this circle touches the y axis this will be equal to minus f basically so our f will be minus 3 i hope everyone is clear why this is uh, coming out to be minus f suppose for any circle i am taking this as x square plus y square uh, plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equals to 0 so for c for finding the coordinates of c uh, I will put x equal to 0, right, in the equation of circle. So, we will get y square plus 2fy plus c is equals to 0. Now, this is quadratic in y whose roots will be basically uh, the coordinates of this uh, means whose roots will be uh, intercept, this y intercept, coordinates of the y intercept, right. And uh, since here uh, it is only touching, so roots will be repeating in nature. So we can say this uh, y1 plus y2 will be equal to minus 2f. And this uh, roots will be repeating in nature. So we can say, suppose I'm taking it as alpha. So this will be 2 alpha is equals to minus 2f. So what will be alpha? Alpha is nothing but minus f, right? That's why this coordinate, this 3 will be equal to minus Hence, I have written this here. Okay, so I'm marking it, uh, marking it here, so that you can uh, know it. So uh, we got the value of f here. Okay, f is equals to minus three. And uh, what is uh, y intercept actually? Y intercept we give it as two under root f square minus a, which is equals to zero in this case. So this f square minus c is equals to zero. Okay, so our f, uh, sorry, our c comes out to be f square, c is equal to f square, f square is uh, nothing but 9. So we got the value of c here. So putting the value of c here, we get uh, g square is equals to 1 plus c. That means g square is equal to 1 plus uh, 9, right? So, sorry g square is equal to 1 plus c and what we got as c c is nothing but 9 so g square is equals to 10 g square is coming out to be 10 okay uh, so what will be g g will be nothing but plus minus under root 10 g will be plus minus under root 10 so what will be center for this circle center will be minus g comma minus f right so uh, our center will be minus g comma minus f that will be minus g means uh, minus of uh, plus minus 10 no so it will be minus plus minus root 10 upon minus f minus f will be, will be equal to 3 so uh, this will be the coordinates of the center am i right or am i doing uh, some mistake no it's okay i think because why this uh, center will be uh, plus minus root 10 because this uh, circle could have been in this way also no? in the left hand side also the uh, circle uh, would exist so hence the uh, this coordinate will be plus minus uh, root 10 uh, comma 3 but here it's given only uh, root 10 so we can take option c as the uh, correct option so option c will be uh, correct here okay
So let's move to the next question, question number seven. So it is saying a circle passes through point A whose coordinates are 1 comma 0 and B whose coordinates are 5 comma 0 and touches the Y axis at C 0 comma lambda. If angle ACB is maximum, then we have to find the value of lambda basically. Okay. So uh, let me assume the equation of circle as x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equals to 0. Now this a point must satisfy this. This a point 1 comma 0 must satisfy this equation. So putting the value here, we get 1 plus 2g plus c is equals to 0. Okay. And uh, this B point should also satisfy it. So put the value of this. Here we get 25. X square means 25 uh, plus 2 into 5. That will be 10X plus C. Sorry. Uh, 25 plus 2G into means 10G. It will be 10G because we in place of X we are putting uh, 5. So 25 plus 10G plus C equals to 0. Okay. So uh, let's subtract uh, equation 1 from 2. We get 8G, 10G minus 2G is 8G, uh, 25 minus 1 is 24. So 8G is equals to minus 24. So we get a G as minus 3. Okay. We get G as minus 3. So what will be the value of C? So 1 minus 6 plus C is equals to 0. From here we get uh, C is equals to 5. Minus 6 plus 1, that will be minus 5. So C, the value of C will be equal to 5. And uh, this... Uh, this circle is touching y axis at uh, 0, comma lambda, right? So this point should also satisfy the uh, equation of the circle. So this C point should also satisfy. That will be, what does it mean? Uh, put x equal to 0 and y equal to lambda in the equation. We will get lambda square uh, plus 2f lambda plus c is equals to 0. Now, uh, this quadratic is, uh, this quadratic in lambda will give the coordinates, that means the roots of this quadratic will give the coordinates of the uh, y-intercept, which this circle makes on the y-axis. But since uh, it only touches, so both uh, roots are repetitive in nature. Right? So if I say this uh, lambda 1, into lambda 2 will be equal to uh, c, c upon 1 means c. So uh, this, what is lambda here? Like that is lambda only, you know, because the roots are repetitive in nature. So uh, lambda 1 equal to lambda 2 here. What we uh, did in the last question, right? So uh, this lambda is uh, repetitive. So lambda square is equals to c and c is nothing but equal to Five. Okay, so the value of lambda will be plus minus root 5. Or we can say uh, mod of lambda is equals to root of 5. Right? So uh, this will be our answer. So option A is correct. Let's check the next question. Question number 8. It is saying the uh, equation of a circle whose center is 3 comma minus 1 and whose intercept, which intercept chord of 6 units length on the straight line 2x minus 5y plus 18 is equals to 0. Okay. So uh, let me uh, try to uh, put a sketch for this question. So this is our circle, it goes, uh, and this is our x-axis, 
suppose I'm taking one line here. Anyway, so uh, we know the center of this circle as 3 comma minus 1, 3 comma minus 1, right? This is the center of the circle. And uh, which intercepts chord of six unit length on a straight line. And uh, this line, this is, this line's equation is 2x minus 5y plus 18 is equals to 0. Plus 18 is equals to 0. Okay. So it intercepts of, uh, let me name it as A, B. A and B. Okay. So, uh, it is given that AB is equal to 6 because this circle is intercepting a chord of 6 units length. So, this AB will be equal to uh, 6. And uh, we have to uh, identify the equation of the circle. So, we can uh, write the equation of circle as since center is uh, known to us. So, let me write the equation of circle in this form. X minus 3 whole square plus uh, y plus 1 whole square is equal to r square, where r is the radius of the circle. Okay. So, if we can uh, find the radius of this circle, we are done, right? We can easily write the equation of the circle. So, uh, how can we uh, find the radius of this circle? So, let me do one construction here. I am joining these two points. This AC and this BC. Okay. And I am dropping one perpendicular on AB. I am dropping one perpendicular on AB. So, this, uh, if I name it as uh, D, so we can say this uh, CD square, this CD square plus BD square. This must be equal to R square because this CB will be nothing but R, right? Now, how can we find the CD? One straight line is there. So, we can uh, find a distance of a point from a line, okay? So, for CD, for CD, we can write it as uh, CD. The length of CD can be given as this 2 into 3 means 2, the coefficient of x into uh, 3 minus coefficient of y into this minus 1 plus c is come mod divided upon a square plus b square. Okay. So, this is uh, a square means 2 square plus b square is nothing but uh, minus 5k square or we can say 25. So, uh, the length of CD will be, this will be 6, okay, 6 plus 5, 11, 11 and 18, 29, 29 upon, what will be this, 25 plus 4, 29, so, or we can say uh, the length of CD is root 29, okay, so we need CD square anyhow, so uh, CD square will be 29 plus BD square, what is BD? BD uh, will be 3 because the total length of this intercept is uh, 6. So, it will be 3 and, and this will be 3 because the perpendicular drawn from center to any chord bisects the chord. So, this uh, BD is 3 squared. That will be 9 is equal to R square. So, we got R square as 29 plus 9, that is nothing but 38. So, now put the value of R square in this, we, we can easily find the equation of circle. Let me uh, open it. So, this will be x square plus 9 minus uh, 6x plus y square plus 1 plus 2y is equals to 38. R square we have uh, putting uh, we have put the value of R square here, so it becomes x square plus y square uh, minus six x 
प्लस टू वाई प्लस नाइन प्लस वन प्लस टेन ओके प्लस टेन when it will come here it will become minus 38 plus 10 minus 28 is equals to 0 okay so x square plus y square minus 6x plus 2y plus 10 minus 38 minus 28 equal to 0 this is the equation of the circle so which option is there x square plus y square minus 6x plus 2y minus 28 so option a is correct hope uh, this is clear to all of you now take the next question question number 9 the locus of the center of a circle uh, which touches externally the circle this and also touches the y axis is given by the equation okay means uh, one circle is given here equation of that circle is given here we have to uh, identify of the locus of a circle which touches the given circle externally and also touches the y axis okay so suppose this is our given circle okay and one more circle is there which touches this circle externally and also touches the y axis So suppose this is our y-axis. Okay. So equation of this circle is given as uh, x square plus y square minus six x minus six y plus fourteen is equals to zero. Okay. And uh, we have to find the Uh, locus of center of this circle h comma k right because this circle is touching this circle externally and this circle also touches our y axis this is our y axis now uh, we can easily identify the center of this circle the center of this circle will be uh, minus g comma minus a that will be 3 comma 3 okay so uh, the center of this circle will be let me name it as c1 and uh, its coordinates are 3 comma 3 and i have assumed the uh, center of this circle as say let me say it as c2 okay let me uh, name it as c2 so we have to find the locus of this uh, c2 this is what is asked in the question okay so what can we do here do we know the radius of this circle yeah we know how the radius of this circle is uh, g square plus f square minus c so g is equals to 3 so it will become 9 f is also 3 9 minus of c means minus of 14 so 9 9 18 minus 14 this will be equal to 2 so the radius of this circle is 2 basically so radius of this circle is equals to 2 now what can we do uh let me join this uh, point uh, c1 and c2 let me join this c1 and c2 so and uh, this also you can join so uh, c1 c2 can we uh, find the value of uh, this uh, c1 c2 means can we find the length of this c1 and c2 the coordinates of c1 is known to us the coordinates of uh, c2 is also known so it will be uh, length of c1 c2 will be equal to 3 minus h whole square right and uh, plus 3 minus k whole square whole under root right this will be uh, c1 c2 
and we can see this c1 c2 from one more perspective like we know this uh, this has to this length is to right since the radius is to and what is the radius of this circle the radius of this circle will be h actually because it is touching the y axis no so uh, from here we can see the c1 c2 length is equals to 2 plus h is it okay this c1 c2 length of c1 c2 will be uh, 2 plus h because 2 is the radius of this circle and since it touches uh, externally no both these uh, circles touches externally so uh, this point will lie uh, like this line will lie along the center of both the circles right so from here we can say c1 c2 is equals to 2 plus h so 2 plus h let's say square it from both uh, on both hand sides so this will be 2 plus h square is equals to uh, 3 minus h whole square plus 3 minus k whole square now open it after opening we get 4 plus h square uh, plus uh, 4h is equals to and this will be 9 plus h square minus 6h plus uh, 9 plus k square minus 6k okay so this h square h square will be cancelled out uh, it will become 4 plus 4h is equals to uh, k square k square minus 6h minus 6k and plus 9 plus 9 that will be 18. So let's take all the terms on one side. We will get uh, k square minus 6h minus 6k plus 18 minus 4 minus 4h is equals to 0. So k square minus 6h minus 4h that will be minus 10h uh, minus 6k 18 minus 4 will be 14 is equals to 0. Now replace h and k by x and y. So we will get y square uh, minus 10x minus 6y plus 14 is equals to 0. So uh, this will be the locus of the this uh, this triangle. Uh, sorry, this uh, circle, this circle C2. So y square minus 10x minus 6y plus 14 is equals to 0. So I think uh, option B is correct. Option B is correct. Okay. So now taking question number 10. It is saying the locus of the center of a circle of radius 2, which rolls on outside of the circle. Okay. One circle is given here and we have to find the locus of the center of another circle, which is rolling on this circle okay rolling outside of this circle so suppose this is our given circle okay and uh, suppose this is our circle oops. okay so this is a given circle C1. Suppose I'm writing it as C1 and I'm taking it as a C2. So equation of C1 is given as equation of C1 is given as x square plus y square uh, plus 3x minus 6y minus 9 is equals to 0. So what will be center for this circle? Uh, center for this circle will be minus 3 upon 2 comma 3 right so this will be the center minus 3 upon 2 comma 3 okay and what information is given for this circle the radius of this circle is given to be 2 this is what we know radius of this circle is 2 and we have to find the uh, let me uh, take uh, let me take this uh, center as o name it as o and i am taking coordinates as h comma k 
okay so we have to find the locus of this uh, center o of the circle c2 uh, so how can we approach this question this is what is known to us and uh, we also know we can also find the radius of this circle radius will be equal to under root of g square g square means 9 by 4 plus f square that is 9 and minus c minus c will be become plus c okay so this uh, similarly we can find this c1 uh, oc distance also no? okay so let me write this oc as uh, h minus h minus or it will become h plus 3 by 2 whole square plus uh, k minus 3 whole square whole under root 2 okay and uh, oc is nothing but if you see oc is nothing but suppose i am taking it as r so this will be r plus r so uh, what is r from here if you see uh, this will be 4 means uh, 9 plus 36 plus 36 right under root so 36 36 72 9 80 1 by 4 that will be 9 by 2 so this is 9 by 2 and we know the uh, value of this uh, the, we know the radius of this circle that is 2 so this oc will become 2 and 9 plus 4 that will be 13 upon 2 so let me square it we will get this uh, 169 by 4 okay let me squ uh, square it on both hand sides so it will become 169 by 4 equal to h square uh, plus 9 by 4 plus 2 this will be 2 into h into 3 by 2 so 2 2 will be cancelled out it will be 3 h basically and it will become k square plus 9 uh, minus 6 k right so uh, this will be 169 by 4 minus 9 by 4 and uh, minus 9 is equals to h square plus k square plus 3 h and minus the 6k okay solving this what we get this 169 minus 9 minus 36 so it will be 160 120 this will be 124 by 4 right so it can further be written as 4 3 31 so it will become 31 this whole term so and I am replacing this h, h and k by x and y. So we can finally write it, the equation of circle as x square plus y square uh, plus 3x uh, minus 3y, sorry, minus 6y plus 3x minus 6y minus 31 is equals to 0. So this is the required locus which will be uh, obviously a circle only because it will roll uh, it is rolling in this way okay so obviously the locus will be center only so x square plus y square plus 3 x minus 6 y minus 31 equal to 0 so option b is correct option now take the next question question number 11 one point is given uh, lambda plus one okay th that is greatest integer function so greatest integer function of lambda plus one comma lambda okay its coordinates are given uh, by this is lying inside the circle x square plus y square minus 2x minus 15 equal to zero then the set of all values of lambda we have to calculate 
Okay. So circle is given as x square plus uh, y square minus 2x minus 15 is equals to 0. So since this point lie inside the circle, so S1 must be less than 0. What is S1? S1 is nothing but we put the coordinates of that point in the equation of the circle. So let me put, uh, let me assume this as P and whose uh, coordinates are given as lambda plus 1 greatest integer and greatest integer lambda. These are the x and y coordinate of this. So let me put it in the equation of the circle. Uh, we will get this square plus uh, greatest integer of lambda square minus 2 times of Mm, lambda plus 1 minus 15 is equals to 0. Okay. So, uh, suppose uh, uh, for a greatest integer of a plus 1, we can write it as greatest integer of a plus 1. Okay. So, note it out. So, here we can say this will be a lambda square plus 2 times lambda plus 1. This lambda is in greatest integer function itself. Okay. And uh, this will be a lambda square minus 2 times of this lambda, then minus. 2 minus 15 is equals to 0. Now uh, let's check, uh, let's assume this uh, greatest integer of lambda as uh, any variable. Suppose I'm taking it uh, p, suppose I'm taking it as p. Okay. So it becomes this p square plus 2p plus 1 plus p square minus 2p minus 17. Is minus 17 equal to zero. actually that this point should uh, this point is lying inside circle no so this s1 should be less than zero basically so this will be less than zero i am writing equal to but it should be less than zero right since this point is lying inside the circle so this minus 2p plus 2p will be cancelled out it will become 2p square uh, minus 16 less than 0. Okay, from here we can say p square minus 8 less than 0. Or uh, we can further uh, simply write it as p square minus 2 root 2 whole square less than 0. Okay. So, let me come here. So, it becomes uh, p plus 2 root 2 and p minus 2 root 2 this should be less than 0 okay so let me plot uh, these uh, critical points here so this will be somewhere minus 2 root 2 and uh, this will be somewhere 2 root 2 okay now, as per this inequality, the P should lie between. This uh, will give positive, this will give negative, and this value uh, lesser than minus 2 root 2 will give positive expression. So, we need a negative. So, actually, P should lie between. P should lie between minus 2 root 2, 2 root 2, right? But what is P? P we have assumed as greatest integer function of lambda, right? This is what we have assumed. So uh, now greatest integer uh, function always gives a integral value. So what is this 2 root 2? Uh, like in terms of decimal, if you see, this will be equal to somewhere between uh, root 2 is 1.4. So this will be around 2.8. And this will be around uh, uh, minus 2.8. So what will be the integral values between these? The integral values will be next. Uh, this will be minus 2. This will be minus 1. Then 0. Then 1 and 2. These are the integral values. Right? So uh, 
our uh, this greatest integer function can take value minus 2 to what you say uh, let me write it as p as uh, greatest integer of lambda right this always takes the uh, integral like this always gives the integral value as output so where should this p lie basically where should this uh, 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 lambda lie basically like uh, if i am taking lambda as uh, suppose i am taking uh, this p as minus 2.5 okay p is nothing but what you say uh, suppose i am taking lambda as minus 2.5 uh, let me write it as suppose I'm taking lambda as minus 2.5. So what will be the greatest integer uh, function of lambda in that case? It will become minus 3. But, but minus 3 is out of this range. No, This will go somewhere here. So uh, lambda, the value of lambda should start from la value of lambda should start from minus 2. So lambda the value of lambda should start from minus 2. And where uh, should it end? It should end at somewhere between th before 3. Before 3. Suppose I am taking now, I am taking lambda as uh, this. Uh, here it is given 2.8. No, I am taking it as, uh, suppose I am taking it as 2.9. So what will be the greatest uh, integer value of uh, this uh, 2.9? It will be 2 only, which is lying in this range. So the starting uh, value will be minus two and the ending uh, range of lambda will be three, but three should be with open end. Why? Because if we put lambda equal to three, the uh, greatest integer of lambda will be three and that will lie outside this range. So uh, this will be our, our, uh, this will be our correct answer. So lambda should lie between, this is asking for the values of lambda, no? So lambda should lie between minus two, say three. So uh, minus two, say three. Or uh, whether it uh, can have zero or not, the value zero or, uh, or not. At zero, if you see, if I'm putting lambda as zero, so it will be zero. I think it can uh, lie, no? We, lambda can take the value 0. Because uh, 0, if we put 0, it's lying in the in this range only, minus 2 root 2, 2, 2 root 2. So uh, this will be uh, our answer. 2, we can include. We can include, uh, sorry, we can include 0 also in this function. So option C is close to the answer, but I don't think it is correct. Anyhow, our answer is this for this question. Uh, so we are done with this one. Now let's move to question number 12. So the greatest distance of a point 10 comma 7 from the circle is okay i have already told you like the greatest and least distance of any point from a circle always lie along the uh, always lie along the diameter right so suppose this is our circle and uh, we have taken any point we have taken any point this p Whose coordinates are given as 10, 7. And uh, we have to find the greatest distance of this P from the circle. So it must uh, lie along the diameter. Okay. So suppose I am taking it, the naming it as A and B, the diameter of this circle. So, and uh, suppose this is our center of the circle. So do we know the center of this circle? Yeah, we know x square plus y square uh, minus 4x minus 2y minus 20 is equals to 0. So the center of this circle is 2 comma 1, right? So this point is 2 comma 1 basically. 
and uh, do we know the radius of this circle yeah we can find it out this will be 4 plus 1 minus of minus 20 that will be 20 so a radius is coming out to be 5 so uh, we need to find the distance pb pb will be the greatest distance this will be the greatest uh, distance of p from the circle okay uh, so pb we can write pb as pc plus cb right we can write pb as pc plus cb so what will be pc length of pc it will be 8 10 minus 2 is squared plus 7 minus 1 is squared that will be 6 is squared and plus cb cb is nothing but radius right cb is the radius of the circle which is equal to 5 so it becomes 8 is squared plus 64 plus 36 under root this becomes 10 plus 5 or the greatest distance will be equal to 15 so option c is correct Now it is asking find equations to the circle touching y axis at 0, 0,3 and making intercept of 8 units on the x axis. Okay, so one circle is there uh, which is touching the y axis, which is touching the y axis at 0, 0,3 and making intercept of 8 units on the x axis. This is what is given in the question. So, this point is 0, 0,3, let me name it as C, 0, 0,3 and let me name it as AB. So, AB is given to be 8 units, right? AB is given to be 8 units and uh, the coordinates of C are 0, 0,3, okay? So uh, let me assume the equation of circle as x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. Now uh, what will be the x-intercept? x-intercept will uh, can be given as 2 under root g square minus c and that is equal to 8. So uh, this will become 4 means g square minus c is equals to 16. This is one equation we got. And uh, we know this uh, c, this uh, 3 will be equal to minus f, right? From here we get f equal to minus 3. We discussed this concept earlier also in two, three questions. So this f is equals to minus 3. And what is the y-intercept? Y-intercept is 2 under root f square minus a that is equal to 0 because it is not making any intercept it is just touching it so uh, this f square is equal to c from here we know f square is equals to 9 so from here we get c is equals to 9 okay and if so c is known to us f is known to us uh, put the value of uh, c here we get uh, g square is equal to 16 plus c means 16 plus 9 that is equal to uh, 25 so we get g as plus minus 5 so we uh, know the value of g f and c so we can easily write the equation of circle as uh, x square plus uh, y square g plus minus uh, 10x plus minus 10x and what is f minus 3 means minus 6y plus uh, 9 equal to 0. So this will be the equation of circle. Basically, there will be uh, two, two circles, right? That's why uh, this uh, plus minus 10x is coming because circle could be here also. No? Circle could be in this way also. Okay, that's why uh, we are having uh, two circles in the answer. Hope uh, is it clear? Uh, it is clear to all of you. So this will be the required equation of the circle. 
Now, so that the circle x square plus y square uh, minus 2ax minus 2ay plus a square is equal to 0 touches both the coordinate axis. Touches both the coordinate axis, right? So, if you see, uh, like, Let me draw it first. So it is given that the circle touches both the coordinate axis that we have to prove it. Okay. So the equation of circle is given as x square plus y square uh, minus 2ax uh, minus 2ay plus a square is equals to 0. Okay. So uh, what is the center of this? Center of this circle? Center of this circle is a comma a. Right. So, uh, see, the center of this circle lies on the line y equal to x, basically. So, if the center of a circle uh, lies on the line y equal to x, it means it will touch both the coordinate axes. Center lies on uh, y equal to x, right? It implies that the uh, center will touch, sorry, the circle, the circle will touch, circle will touch both the coordinate axis. Now, one more case may arise. What if uh, so center lies on the line y equal to minus x? In that case also, in that case also, circle will touch both the coordinate axis. Second case, this is the first case. Right. This is the case one. Where if the center lies on y equal to x, it will touch both the axis. And if the circle lies on y equal to minus x line, then also it will touch both the coordinate axis. Okay, so here it lies on the line y equal to x. Hence, it proves uh, this uh, statement proves that it will touch both the coordinate axis. Okay. One more case. Uh, uh, let me draw one more circle here. Right. Let me draw y equal to minus x line. So this line is basically y equal to minus x. So here the center of circle will be uh, h comma h and what will be center of circle here in this case? The center of circle here will be uh, minus h comma h. Similarly, in third quadrant also, this first quadrant and uh, this case is for first quadrant and third quadrant. First and uh, third quadrant. And this will be for uh, second and fourth quadrant. Okay. So let's take the next question, question number 15. It is saying this point P lambda comma minus lambda lies inside the circle. This one, x square uh, plus y square minus 4x plus 2y uh, minus 8 is equals to 0. And point is given as 
lambda comma minus lambda so uh, this will be the uh, means putting the value of uh, putting the uh, coordinates of p in the equation this must be less than zero this we what we call it as s1 is less than zero so put the value of here so it will become lambda square plus lambda square minus 4 into lambda uh, plus 2 into minus lambda uh, minus 8 must be less than 0. So from here we get 2 lambda square minus 4 lambda minus uh, 2 lambda that will be minus 6 lambda minus 8 that should be less than 0. Or we can say lambda square minus 3 lambda minus 4 should be less than 0. For the factorize it, uh, it will become uh, lambda square uh, minus 4 lambda plus lambda minus 4 less than 0. So lambda into lambda minus 4 plus 1 lambda minus 4 less than 0. So this becomes after factorization it becomes lambda plus 1 into lambda minus 4 should be less than 0. So let it uh, let plot it in on the number line. So the critical points are minus one and four. So values for of lambda greater than four, it will give positive sign. This will give a negative sign and values less than minus one will give it a positive sign, right? So since uh, we need uh, less than zero, so lambda should lie between minus one to four. This is our answer. I think we are done with this chapter. Okay, one more question is there. Question number 16. Find the equation of the circle which passes through the origin and cuts of chords of length 4 and 6 on the positive side of x and y axis. So, one circle is there. One circle is there which is passing through origin. That circle is passing through origin. Okay, and cuts of chord of length 4 and 6 on the positive side of x-axis. Okay, so uh, this is our x-axis, this is our y-axis, it is passing through origin, this uh, circle is passing through origin. We have to find the equation of the circle. So let me assume the equation of circle as x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy equal to 0. C will be 0 in this case since the circle is passing through origin. Now we uh, know the uh, x and y intercept. So 2 times under root uh, g square minus c is given to be 4. Okay. So this becomes 2. So our g is square minus c equal to 4. Let us take the first equation. Similarly, the y-intercept is 2 under root f square minus c and it is given as 6. So 3, this becomes f square minus c is equals to 9. This is our second equation. Now uh, c is 0, no? So why we are taking c here? c is 0 in this case. So from here we get uh, g square is equals to 4 or uh, g is equals to plus minus 2 and from here we get f square is equal to 9 and f is equals to plus minus 3. So our equation finally becomes uh, x square plus y square plus minus 4x uh, plus minus uh, 6y equal to 0. Right. This is the equation of the circle. But one thing we must notice, it is saying the positive side. No? So positive side means uh, the center of this circle will be in the first quadrant. The center of this circle will be in first quadrant. So uh, our equation will become, a required equation will be x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y equal to 0. Then only its center will be in the first quadrant, which will be 2 comma 3. So if uh, this word was not mentioned in the question, then uh, we would have these equations. 
but since it's cutting the uh, this x and y axis positive side of x and y axis so this will be our required answer so center will be 2 comma 3 okay so uh, hope uh, this exercise is clear to all of you so we have covered all the questions of this exercise number 3 uh, so uh, this is all for today uh, we will uh, meet uh, soon with our next exercise which will be exercise number four so uh, till then uh, tata goodbye take care